Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to my first ever Merch by Amazon dedicated video. So in today's video, I thought I would just share with you kind of my merch journey and what I thought was maybe every week, uh, once a week, I'll do a very short video just sort of documenting where I'm at uh, so that then you can see my journey. I am pretty new at this, although I haven't had an account for over 12 months now. I did actually do some designs when I first got my account last year. Um, I tried to do some myself on, uh, I think it was GIMP I used, the program I used, and I just wasn't very good at it. I, do, I, I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt it was too overwhelming. There was all these different tools on GIMP that I didn't know how to use. And uh, I just basically gave up. I, I, I put like four or five designs on there, left them on there, left my account active, and then just gave up. Now, I'm pretty glad I did that, actually. But not that I gave up, but that I actually put some designs on because I've heard on a few of the uh, chats that Margaret does, Texas Scale Treasures, um, the merch talk chats, that actually if you... Uh, don't upload a design on a new on a new Merch by Amazon account within the first 120 days. Uh, they can actually shut your account down or something like that for, for inactivity or something. Anyway, uh, I don't know whether that's completely true or not, but that's what I've heard. Um, so actually, I'm really glad that I did at least put a design on and just leave it on there. Um, and then I came back to it in January of this year. And I attacked it in a bit of a different way that, again, didn't work for me. Uh, and this is always the way for me. I fail I fail normally two or three times before I get it right or I get it semi-right. Um, and basically, I attacked it in a different way and I actually purchased some designs. I purchased ten designs, I think it was. And I put them up and what I, what I noticed when I was doing some research is that these designs, although they were claiming to be unique, they weren't completely unique and they were basically giving me uh, designs that were semi-unique but that were quite similar to other designs that were on. Maybe the font was slightly different but the layout was pretty much the same and everything. So, and the text was completely the same, the, the quote or whatever was on the shirt. So, um, I didn't particularly like that, and it didn't give me a lot of confidence when I left those shirts on. Anyway, I left them on, and I logged into my account in, I think it was April. So three months after, I bought the designs in January, and I logged in in April uh, to find I had a sale. Um, I had a sale, or did I have two sales? It was either one sale or two sales, anyway, I can't remember. It might have been two sales. And, um, and I had actually got tiered up to tier 25 without doing anything. All I had was my full 10 slots, um, you know, filled. So I had my 10 slots filled. I had left it a few months and I uh, ended up logging back into my account in April to uh, be surprised with having 25 available slots. And the funny thing was, a week prior to doing this, a week prior to logging into my Amazon merch, I had learned Photoshop in a basic sort of way to do thumbnails for YouTube and obviously you'll see on my most recent videos I do thumbnails with Photoshop now and it gave me the confidence when I logged back in to think hang on a minute I could do these designs myself now with the new no newfound knowledge I have from Photoshop so I started putting a few designs up and I got to my 25 designs quite quickly within about 10 days or so uh, doing maybe two or three designs a day. My maximum limit was only three designs a day and I got one sale out of that within a week or so which I was really really happy with. I've not had anything since which is really weird because as you can see on my dashboard I've now got 44 designs up um, but I did have a sale and you can see down here in my all time uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be blocking it with the with the uh, with myself in the uh, green screen here but you can see on my all time here I've made $7.08 royalties and that w one of those shirts was the shirt, uh, shirt I sold the other week. Um, so the, I am completely a beginner at this really. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my story with merch so far. Uh, and then obviously I got, I got, well actually I'll just tell you this as well. I uh, basically got that sale and I had my 25 uh, designs up and within another week I had been tiered up to 100 tier as you can see here. So now I've got the capability to do 100 designs 
and 10 designs per day which is really getting me going now and um, basically I've got another five designs all ready to upload I just need to do the uh, keywords I've actually you know just done them in Photoshop you can see I've got the tab open for Photoshop down there I'm not going to reveal any of my designs because I think that that's just kind of counterproductive I know that people do it however I just don't want you know if I'm in a certain niche or whatever if I have the possibility to get sales in that niche, I don't want to, do, you know, show it on YouTube and then every bugger goes on there and then saturates the niche or whatever. So uh, I won't be showing any meta. I might, I might show one if I'm comfortable with showing one at some point in this kind of video series, but um, I won't be showing loads of my designs or anything like that just because I don't feel it's a, it's a good business decision. So yeah. Anyway, um, but that's quite funny because this channel is dedicated to eBay. I'm just thinking, this channel is dedicated to eBay reselling and I show all the items I sell on eBay to everyone else. So it's kind of like me um, being, contra it's a contradiction in terms for myself actually, not showing my merch designs, but I will show my eBay sales. But anyway, somehow in my mind it works out differently not showing my merch but showing my ebay i don't know how that works out but anyway so i'm waiting I'm, I'm i'm basically at the moment i'm uploading as many as i can in a day around my ebay work around my amazon work and all that other stuff um and i'm just trying to get to that hundred and then once i've got to that hundred hopefully by then i'll start to see maybe two or three sales maybe four or five sales come through each week and then it's just a waiting game of actually tearing up to 500 and then when I get to 500 I'm uh, going to be playing a niche game so I'm going to be basically my ide ideology is uh, go for the kind of lesser known niches that are uh, you know might not get that many uh, searches or whatever but because I've got the wiggle room to actually upload loads of designs I can go for those very low competition, low search volume niches that then I can, you know, I might only get a sale a month or so, something like that from a design, but it doesn't matter so much if I've got 500 designs listed or maybe even a thousand designs listed. So that's going to be my, my change up when I get more slots. For the moment, I'm not, I'm not going for trending shirts, but I'm going for kind of um, what I would say is um, somewhat better better search volume let's say i do have a subscription to merch informer and i do go on there using the keyword tool and um, basically i'm trying to look for niches with a, a fairly okay search volume and quite low competition as well and just do that for a moment because i want to at least get a few sales in the bank and then i'll blanch off and i might even do some trending shirts when i'm in the uh, 100, uh, 500 tier or whatever but i just don't feel as me, me as a designer or me as a person, I don't feel like trending designs are what I want to do. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with doing them. I just don't feel that's my kind of forte. I feel like evergreen kind of shirts are more my my kind of uh, speed. So I've never done well with anything that's trending, even with my eBay account, with you know Amazon account, doing like the uh, Chewbacca masks craze. I never did well with that. I never got any. Uh, the speak out craze, the pie face craze. I'm I'm too slow to to do all the trending stuff. So I'm not gonna actively search it in a big way but i might do the odd trending uh, shirt design so anyway i've probably rambled quite a lot there i'm sorry if it was a bit boring but i just wanted to get my entire story out i wanted to show you where i'm up to and uh, i'll probably do another update probably a more condensed update because it won't be all the backstory uh, next week and i'll see we can see whether i've got any sales we can see uh, what sort of design level i'm up to and all that sort of stuff and i'll take you through uh, week by week what i'm doing and hopefully week after week after week uh, you'll see a little bit of growth each week i don't think it's going to be fast i'm not expecting anything major but slow and steady growth is what i'm expecting and then hopefully you'll see me when i've teared up to 500 if that happens and uh, yeah we'll just slowly slowly grow and if it's just a hobby it's just a hobby if it's something that turns into a, a viable business then that's what it is but at the moment i'm really enjoying designs and that's all uh, i can say really i'm just happy to be earning a little bit extra i would i would be happy to earn a little bit of extra money doing something i love and i like doing designs so i'm quite happy with that anyway i'll leave it there guys 
Thank you very much for watching. If you do want to see more of these videos, give it a like down below. It lets me know that you would like to see kind of more of a merch series. Um, because if there's not any demand for it, then I won't do it. But at the same time, I feel like it would be quite a different angle to the channel. It would. It's still along the kind of reselling lines somewhat. But um, it's just a bit something different. So, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining, and I will see you very soon.